And, uh, you know, as you had mentioned, as we've been seeing that double Evo, we've seen the early Ling upgrades. I mean, it yeah. certainly is changing quite a bit. Now, one of the things that Violet did so well throughout this particular series is he was able to hold off some of these very, very nice attacks coming out by Lenok. And let's take a look at the Nas performance replay of this last game. And, I, you know, these roaches coming in here, he yeah. basically had the uh, one spine crawler there. I guess that was enough to make Lenox go ahead and commit to it. And then, of course, we saw the links around. But uh, what do you think of this particular hold up here? Well, we could see as it begun, 12 drones in production is said. But, I mean, look at that. What a fantastic surround, full surround on those units there. Uh, and that was easily cleaned up. Spine crawler getting damage in there as well. And Lenox designed a strategy there that just didn't do what it was designed to do. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, again, just showing the uh, Zerg is indeed the reactionary race. And although that Overlord that was so far away from his base uh, was the first one to catch those, what, eight roaches making their way across, he still was able to prepare nicely. I love the fact that he put that one spine crawler forward, but built two more behind yeah. in order to, you know, again, it's a, it's a lot about buying yourself that time. And then, of course, the counterattack was quite nice, sniping those queens, getting a few drones as well. Yeah. And it is Violet who will take the series. And it was a great series played out by Violet. Definitely, more importantly, grabbing an important win, having lost versus Norris in his first best of three. Well, guys, we're going to take a commercial break. When we return back here on the main stage for StarCraft II, we have got Stefano taking on Ganji. Don't go away. The spring championships continue after this. <laughs> 